The Suited Bird probably has some of the most wholesome content I have ever watched. From his video on Fred Fredberger to the various videos about Adventure Time, his videos are some of the most pleasantly surprising and well made that I have watched in recent memory. And I've seen him grow from the start. As a member of the flock, I've seen the Suited Bird grow from around the 200 subscriber mark to where he is now. And he's done quite well for himself, growing his channel to what I would consider an almost medium sized channel, especially when compared to someone like myself. God fucking damn it. And his growth has piqued my own interest, both in terms of how he did it and the lessons he has learned. And in this video essay, I want to examine both as to why and how the Suited Bird has been able to grow his channel successfully and grow his community of followers to where it is at the moment. I've done a similar video like this in which I discussed the rabbit hole of Avrona, someone who can't YouTube. But the Suited Bird is different. The Suited Bird can YouTube and he's managed to do so in a way that his channel is now starting to flourish. And today, we're going to analyse this. We are going to take a look at how the Suited Bird has successfully grown to where he is today and why I think he'll grow exponentially. And to talk about all of this, we need to start with the content of the Suited Bird. So, what does the Suited Bird actually do? Well, by the looks of it, he mainly makes commentary videos like the previously mentioned Fred Fredberger video, but he also has other types of videos such as a speedrun video, a how-to video, and some reviews. He sprinkles in variety amongst his videos. On the face of it, this type of channel isn't that unique. It isn't special. There are plenty of channels that do commentaries, reviews, and variety content, but then that can be said for all channels on YouTube. There are millions of YouTubers all doing the same thing, with gaming channels being a prime example. And all of these channels are competing with each other to be seen by you. But what makes the Suited Bird stand out, at least for myself, is how digestible some of these videos are. His content is very easy to consume and there are many points where it isn't delicious. I first discovered our avian protagonist during the start of the first wave of the coronavirus pandemic. In the UK, everywhere almost absolutely necessary was placed under lockdown protocols, meaning you were only allowed outside out of your own house for one hour per day. And this was the case almost everywhere else around the world during this time. Almost every country had its own lockdown laws, rules and systems in place to combat the virus. And because of these lockdowns, a lot of people were placed on schemes that allowed them to keep their jobs, such as furlough schemes, but they weren't going into work. They weren't leaving their homes. And I was included in this. For me, I was left with almost nothing to do except work on my own videos and watch other people's videos. So I browsed the small YouTuber communities in order to learn more about making YouTube videos and to honestly just cure my sheer boredom. And when looking at a lot of these videos by these smaller YouTubers, let's just say that the standard of these videos from the thumbnails, the SEO and the actual content was sh and I was included in that myself. My channel's still a work in progress even till this day. That's not to say that these people can't improve or won't improve. Everyone has to start somewhere. And when you look at the biggest YouTubers out there, from KSI to PewDiePie, you'll clearly see they weren't as good at making videos as they are today. And even the Suited Bird has massively improved on from where he started. The first video I ever watched of the Suited Birds was his video on sub for sub and while it was a very good video he had asked for it to be critiqued on reddit and from the get-go you could tell that the thumbnail needed work and he acknowledged this accepting that his thumbnail game could have been improved and in subsequent videos he improved the quality of his thumbnails dramatically i think a massive part of the suited bird's growth was the fact that he was willing to learn and open to criticism it's quite clear that the bird was willing to learn about youtube from the start of his current channel's journey, that he was willing to listen to people so he could improve upon things he may not have even realized he needed to improve upon. And I think that's part of his appeal, at least to me. Watching someone implement the advice they have received and constantly build themselves up is always a joy to watch. It comes across as down to earth and relatable, which is something I get from his content, whether he is talking about SpongeBob, Adventure Time, or something wildly different. 
he's someone who appears relatable and down to earth. He's not someone who's throwing his ego about, chasing negativity, but instead he is giving out positive vibes, making positive feel good videos, making people's days better with his videos, entertaining his newly found audience in the process. And it's these people that the Suited Bird has managed to turn into the flock. As a member of the flock, the name bestowed onto the Suited Bird's fan base. It's incredible to see that the bird has built a thriving community from his videos. He has regular viewers, such as myself, who repeatedly return to watch his content whenever he makes a new video, who eagerly await his every upload. The ability to attract and keep an audience is vital to building any successful YouTube channel, and a massive part of the bird's early success was a video series he created a series of channel reviews. For a time, his main series was his channel reviews. He set up his own subreddit, which has now become a place for people just to dump their content. <laughs> and he'd select five videos from five completely separate creators and give detailed and insightful reviews of both their videos and their channels what they were doing well and what they could improve upon. And for a small YouTuber at this time, whether the suited bird realized it or not, this was ingenious. In an ocean congested with other small YouTubers, making content involving their content and giving other creators a chance for their content to be shown on his channel was clever, a little too clever. By doing this, he planted the seeds for growing his audience, enabling him to add people to his Discord, involving his audience with his videos, making a more personal connection to his growing audience, and thereby reaching the 1000 subscriber milestone, a major milestone in any YouTuber's journey. He even did a face reveal at 1000 subscribers as part of his special. And this, this is not a bird. This is not a bird at all. What the f Now, the caveat with this strategy was that this strategy attracted a lot of people who would subscribe only because it benefits themselves. And that did happen in the case of the Suited Bird. There are plenty of small YouTubers who only watched these videos for some sort of self-promotion and then when they weren't promoted, left. However, a lot of people did decide to just stick around as the channel reviews did encourage people to check out his other content and as people saw potential in them to get better than they were, which he is now fulfilling, they decided to subscribe to the Suited Bird for his content. At the time of recording, the Suited Bird has been growing at a steady rate, even when he hasn't uploaded as often as he could have potentially. And I think there's something else, something to do with his editing, or rather, who he edits for. On one of his relatively recent videos, the bird, in entertaining fashion, explains how he edits a video for a YouTuber by the name of Easy Speezy, a speedrunning gaming YouTuber. A gaming YouTuber with over 1 million subscribers. Fuck! He has also edited for Pro Gamer Dude, another bigger YouTuber, and another YouTuber with over 100,000 subscribers. In addition to this, he is on friendly terms with other small creators, big and small, and some of them that are friendly with him have also grown to bigger proportions. This is what we call networking. Knowing other people in your field, such as YouTubers, especially editing for them if you have the time, can both be a good form of networking and an interesting way to gather experience, as it provides experience of making videos that go out to a much larger audience than you're used to, which helps you further down the line if you end up growing big enough. And knowing other YouTubers, especially ones that are much bigger, can help with exposure. And I'm not talking about getting handed shout outs or receiving any kind of promotion from these said YouTubers. The exposure he gets is much more indirect than that. He has an advantage as he could talk about the time working for them, about the time editing for them, both in video format and in live streams. And they also comment on his videos. And the pro gamer dude follows him on other platforms, such as Twitter. He can get advice from them as to how to grow their channels 
and other tips that will help him in the long run, such as how to deal with a much bigger audience. And he also gets paid for editing for these channels. Nice. The way the Suited Bird networks, he doesn't just know them as his bosses, although they technically are. As an outsider peering in, he seems to be on very friendly terms with them, which both helps maintain a good working relationship and comes across as more genuine, which then carries on to his own videos. He's not just meeting people, but he seems to be making connections with them, making them feel part of something. And he is connecting with these people that you may have never met otherwise. He can connect with their audiences of these other creators and also help them out. And in return, he can get help back himself. He can get advice, friendly comments, and Discord moderation, just to name a few things. These are benefits of his networking skills. And none of these feel forced. He seems genuinely interested and friends with these people. He clearly has used these networking skills to expand his community, to build up his following so that he has subscribers that return to watch his videos, meaning that the algorithm, due to consistent watch time and engagement, is more likely to promote his content, helping the Suited Bird fly to new, greater heights. The Suited Bird probably has some of the most wholesome content that I have ever watched. From his videos about Fred Fredberger to the various videos about Adventure Time, his videos are some of the most pleasantly surprising and well made that I've watched in recent memory. I'm going to go out on a limb here and make a bold prediction about the Suited Bird, one that I personally think he will achieve. I believe by the end of 2023, the Suited Bird will have received his silver play button. If he keeps making the content he's making to the standard he's making, I believe he will reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And it's been interesting observing his growth until now, how this now medium-sized YouTuber has grown from where he once started, from making gaming videos on things like CSGO, with the basic building blocks of video gaming, of video making, to making good quality, wholesome commentary videos that he now makes today. And I believe he is going to quote unquote make it that he will one day become a big YouTuber as someone who can inspire others to make videos just like he does. I also look at the methods that he has used to grow and try to apply the lessons from them to myself. You don't necessarily need to be an editor for a bigger YouTuber, but you definitely need to stamp your mark on the platform and the suit of bird does this. I have my own channel where I make these weird little video essays and I'm looking at the lessons that the Suited Bird has given me about his own journey. And maybe one day I'll get to where he is now. And if my prediction about the Suited Bird doesn't come true, that's not an issue. As it's not about how big he becomes, but it's about the journey he took us on along the way. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you'd like to see more of these weird little video essays, I recommend subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell. I also have videos just like this on my channel, such as my video on RuneScape. You can also keep up to date with me on Twitter at OhNoIt'sJustin2. And if the Suited Bird is watching this, I hope you're doing well, man. Keep smashing it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.